hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for clicking this video and if you're not new here you already know what's up you guys are gang and that's on period so today's video is this little get ready with me for this early 2000s girlfriends inspired look so if you guys want to see my skincare routine my new blush routine and the details on this fit then just keep on watching hey guys i apologize for my jump scare of a ashy dry casket ready appearance but we're gonna get it together first i'm gonna go in with the laneige sleeping mask and i have it in the vanilla scent Ugh, it literally smells so good guys and this is desperately needed because mm -mm, absolutely not like this is not even my first step in my skincare routine but like i need this bad right now the instant difference now for the actual first step in my skincare routine, I just got this product actually. I bought it during the Sephora spring sale, but it's the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum. I'm just using it for my lash line because like getting lash extensions has just like completely destroyed my natural lashes. So I'm desperately trying to grow them back. I actually haven't gotten lash extensions in like months because I, I just knew like my lashes were thinning out. I'm like, girl, you need to take a break. I've only been using it for like maybe a week so far. So obviously I've not seen any results, but I'm going to keep on with it just because I'm actually like, I really want to get my lashes back to how they were before. Because I've been noticing the difference, like applying mascara really does not hit how we used to be hitting. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this 2% BHA liquid exfoliant by Polish Choice. Guys, this is a holy grail skincare product if you're trying to like get rid of texture, get rid of like dark marks, acne marks, all that type of stuff. Literally holy grail. It's so gentle. You can use it every single day. And guys, I promise you like this is why my skin is so clear. Like this product is literally the top number one reason why my skin is so clear and why like my pores are like non-existent why my makeup applies so smoothly like why i have no texture on my skin it's literally this product i very much focus it on my chin because that's the problem area of my face like i don't know if you guys can see this mark it used to be way blacker and then i started using this product and now it's fading really really quick so just gonna swipe that everywhere But guys, if you're using this product, you have to, have to, have to use sunscreen or you do run the risk of like burning your skin because it is like a liquid exfoliant and your skin is vulnerable after exfoliant. So we don't want to make the dark marks even darker. So please guys, make sure you're applying sunscreen. Okay, then after that, I know you're supposed to give your skincare like a little bit more time to settle in. In between steps but like we're in a rush so my next product is this hydrating serum from the sephora collection guys i literally have been saying this in my past few videos but do not sleep on sephora collection products like they're actually good they're affordable like they're clean the products are great they do what they're, they need to do like okay next thing we're gonna tackle are these dull under eyes and guys, this is another Holy Grail product. I have a, the mini right now. This is another Holy Grail product in my skincare routine. It's this Ole, Hendri Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Under Eye Cream. I promise you guys, like my under eyes did not, were not this color before. They were dark, like visibly darker than the rest of my face. And this cream has just like helped brighten them so, 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 so much. Like this is a staple in my routine. I have repurchased this cream so many times and I'm going to continue to repurchase it because it's literally bomb and it's an amazing prep for like your concealer and obviously since we're going to be applying makeup today okay and then the last step is a sunscreen this is the sunscreen that I've been using right now it's from super goop and it just gives your skin like this really 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 nice glow and I feel like it's very hydrating as well like it doesn't leave my face feeling like tight and sticky there's no like ugly ass white cast that's my skincare okay now let's tame the mane so i've been wearing my hair in this slick back like cute little ballerina bun for the past 
like week and a few days i want to say and this is my last day wearing it before i'm actually getting my hair done like on tuesday so this is my last day wearing this hairstyle before i wash it so i'm literally going to use the tiniest amount of gel i'm going in with the edge booster this is the actual like styling gel they make a uh, edge control too but this is the styling gel unfortunately when i went to the beauty supply store they only had the blueberry scent so i've been like managing that but i'm literally gonna go in with the tiniest amount you guys because i've been putting gel in my hair for like a week and it's honestly is not necessary so yeah i'm just gonna go in with two tiny scoops like that And then I'm going to go in with my hard brush and I'm just going to brush everything up and back using my hand to like smooth it. Guys, can you tell I have no friggin' edges? <laughs> so I'm really trying to take a break from wigs because I don't wear bald caps because I just like, I hate the way that it looks for me personally. So my edges have been suffering, so I'm just going to try to do like a few braided hairstyles and give my edges a break. I'm just going to do like nothing too crazy, y'all. Nothing too crazy at all. I can barely even see, so like bear, bear with me through this process because I cannot even see what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, perfect and then I'm just gonna take this fake Gucci scarf I love to tie down my slick bags with a satin scarf because I feel like it really just like gets every hair to lay properly in place like opposed to a cotton scarf or anything like that I feel like satin is the best material to like absorb all the moisture in your hair so we're just gonna let that set while we're getting ready. Okay, so I decided to skip through my base makeup because you guys have literally seen me do the same like powder foundation combo a million trillion times. But I'm gonna leave the products that I used down below. Now for the blush because the other day I tried this new thing with my blush and I'm literally in love. Okay, so I'm going in with the Rare Beauty liquid blush and this is like the, not the matte one, like the dewy finish one and this is in the shade joy love her would die for her so we're just gonna blend this out and i've like recently have been trying to keep my blush like super high and super back because i feel like that just like really complements my face shape and gives me like a beautiful lift and i've also been blending it like into the corner of my eyes i've been seeing the girlies on tiktok doing that but like fair warning this is gonna take off the end of your eyebrow my eyebrows are microbladed so like i don't care but if you fill in your brows you probably want to fill in your brows after this step then after that and i do have like a little bit of powder baking in my under eye as well you guys are gonna see like it's all gonna come together so next i'm gonna go in with this sephora collection matte blush this is in the shade date night and it's just like a hot pink i love this blush so i'm gonna use that to set but i'm gonna like focus that at the top like i'm not bringing it down onto the apples of my cheeks i'm literally just focusing this pink color at the temples I'm gonna put that on my nose as well. And then I'm gonna go in with this blush from Bare Minerals, a slightly a lighter pink shade. This is called Pink Me Up. And I'm gonna use this for like a kind of ombre effect. And this blush is gonna go on the apples of my cheeks. Do y'all see how it just like softly diffuses out? I love that. Oh my gosh. I love this ombre blush technique. And then I'm going to also use the same brush to just dust away the powder underneath my eyes. I feel like it just gives like a seamless look. Oh my gosh. So freaking cute. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze with the Hula Toasted. I do love this bronzer. Guys, I don't know about y'all, but this look back bun with the like the edges is giving Lori Harvey. Like I'm here for it and it's really giving Lori Harvey. So am I just like gassing myself or am I really giving Lori Harvey? Y'all let me know in the comments because this look back is such a vibe. Okay, now I'm gonna go in for my fake nose contour. And I'm gonna put that in my crease because we are doing a little bit of a look today. So because we blended the blush into the eyes a little bit, that kind of acted as a transition shade. Now my bronzer is gonna be the crease color. And I did bring it like slightly under as well. So now for my lid, I'm just gonna mix these two matte brown shades from this NARS palette together to get the, um, the right color that I want. And I'm just gonna pack that on the lid. Very messy. Guys, I literally love this look. It looks like you put so much effort, but you didn't. But this literally takes like two minutes, literally. I'm gonna go back and just like find the crease a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the dark brown shade here and do a little bit of a liner moment. Guys, I've been doing really good recently with my eyeliner like matching on both sides. And for lashes, guys, I went in with the Ardell Wispies. Not the Demi Wispies, the Wispies. I love them. I don't know, you guys, like the super big, super thick lashes. I just feel like they're not for me. So I'm just gonna stick to what I know and what I love, which is the Ardell Wispies and the Demi Wispies. Okay, now for highlighter, you know I'm going to go in with my Fenty Glow. Not too much, because like we already did a lot with the blush. Perfect. Now we'll spray. That whole like cover your eyes or cover your lashes when you're spraying your setting spray i never do that and honestly my makeup lasts like my lashes last everything lasts so i don't know okay so now for lips i'm going in with the ColourPop lippy pencil i think it's called in control i love her like I literally keep repurchasing this lip liner over and over because I feel like it's just so good. Like it glides on so smoothly and it's cheap too. Literally no complaints. Then for lipstick, I just went in with the Pat McGrath matte lipstick in Christy. I know it looks literally crazy, but don't worry, I'm gonna put the gloss on top. This Merit Beauty gloss is in the shade Taupe. We're just gonna put that on top to tone down. I low-key put on a little bit too much of the lipstick, so we're just gonna tone her down. Cause, mm -mm. no. Okay, and this is the completed makeup look. Clean, fresh, pop-up color on the cheeks, nice and glowy, dewy skin, um, juicy lips, cause yes. Ooh, I love this with the slick back. It's just really giving, like it's really giving. Now let's get dressed, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot over to the side so y'all can see the fits, but let's start with my accessories first. Okay, so first we have these cute little huggies. I got these from Missouri. love these like i feel like they're just like so minimalistic and simple but classy and like effortless you know like these are really really nice 
and then i did i honestly I didn't do too much with the accessories i have this thumb ring from aliexpress and then these two rings are from pandora i've literally had them for years this one is supposed to be like the shape of a heart <laughs> but yeah i don't know if you guys can see but it's supposed to be like heart shaped but i've had it for years so my finger has just like turned it into something else but for the top let's get into this super super cute tie front top from pretty little thing it's giving early 2000s vibes it's giving me on the set of girlfriends period like i feel like maya like i said in my pillow thing try on haul which i'm gonna link maya would definitely wear this like this is so cute it's so comfortable and so stretchy um it is like showing a lot of chest and cleavage but like we're young we're hot like flaunt it if you got it that's that's how i be thinking i'm gonna flaunt it while i got it because i'm young so who gonna check me if my mom says okay then who gonna check me like period okay so the top color is khaki but the pants are like Actually, what I think of when I say khaki, I paired it with these light khaki colored pants. Um, those are from Urban Planet, I believe. I'm not even going to tell y'all that there will be links to the stuff down below because I already know it's not going to be available on the site anymore, but my bad, y'all. <laughs> my bad, my bad. But yeah, the pants are from Urban, just some cute little khakis. And then for the boots, these boots are from Zara. I bought them last year on sale, so they're definitely gone, child. But they're just this like satin boot i love the this detail of the heel and it's actually not like hard to walk on or like uncomfortable yeah super cute and then you know i had to spice it up with these sunglasses i actually got these like from my doctor's office oof like even putting it on right now is just giving hella stupid vibes like hella stupid vibes I need to be in a Nelly music video. Like, this is exactly what these shades are giving. So I just thought they would be the perfect, like, pop to the outfit. And I feel like the brown matches the green of my shirt very, very, very well. And then, of course, I paired it with my guest purse that I actually, like, never wear her. But she's super cute. So, like, I should wear her more often. But, yeah, that's a fit, y'all. All right, you guys. So that is the end of this Get Ready With Me. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. Let me know down below, like, what was your favorite part of this video? Like, did you like the skincare? Did you like me showing you guys my new blush routine? Did you like the outfit? Like, what was your favorite part of this video? Let me know if you, like, if you're going to recreate this look. I think you definitely should because, sister, it's giving. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? I'm going to pause right now and give you, like, five seconds to fix your mistake um yeah i love you guys so much thank you for your continued support and i will definitely catch you guys in the next one